This is just going to be a quick sketch here of how to paint a daisy. I want to draw the the ones, the petals that go out to the side first, and that'll give me an idea just how wide the flower is going to be. And making them all slightly different, maybe group them some underneath petals going underneath others. Just make sure they don't look like bicycle spokes all the same. Study them from, you know, get good reference and study how they go. They, they kind of move around and blow around. There's some underneath each other. Very, very thin cadmium orange. In fact, add a little water here just to soften it. Then I want to make a touch of uh, cobalt blue in that to get some shadows in the white. It's going to be a white flower, basically, but I need to uh, show some cast shadows from petals onto other petals, pushing some down and letting some sort of flip up to get dimension into it. This is not uh, recorded at any high speed. It's important to get your get comfortable with your brush sort of dancing around and flipping. It'll it'll make the watercolor look so much more spontaneous, especially on, a, on an object like this that uh, is very perishable. You want it to look fresh and lively. This green's made with the uh, raw sienna and a bit of phthalo blue. And I'm trying not to outline it. I want to push dark shapes in behind the white petals. It looks so contrived if you just go around the outside. I've often been uh, asked, you know, what do you paint first, the background of the flower? But you can see I've spilled the petal color into the background. And some of the background colors crawling into the flower. So basically you paint both at the same time. I haven't finished the flower, but I want to make sure I get some of these darks, dark shapes, maybe other leaves and things going on in behind. It'll push these petals forward. I change the color of the green every once in a while. Just let me get this uh, petal curved nicely. So I'll get that one going down and the one beside it sort of flips up. Just a lot of variation. Maybe a bit of a stem here and a leaf. Still the same two colors, the same raw sienna, phthalo blue. You can use a bit of cobalt blue too. I mean, you can see I want to, there's a bit more cadmium yellow now. You want to uh, just keep the greens changing so you won't get too much of any one. Yeah, I don't want to get too spotty here either. Final darks make the whites look very white, even though we put all that uh, sort of orange and blue on. Now the little center button, just touch that with a bit of brighter orange. I want to trim it here with a bit of burnt sienna to make it just sit up high. Just give it an edge. Finished sketch.